Hi guys, it's Sharon with Little Britain Company and um, we are finally moving on with our album. So busy. Uh, I told you in the, in the past ones or we have shown you that I decided to go with the um, black with the gold um, bees. I am continuing to look with the look for the yellow with black dots. I may actually make my own. If I don't find it, I might try because I do want to do two of the bee albums because I just really, really, really like the bees. I've got some bee stuff over here. Um, but what we're doing today, so everything is that the booklet is together. We've got our hinge. We've got our um, flanges here. And then I'm going to put this over here. And we have our pages. Um, so one thing that's super important about the pages is understanding which part is getting attached and what is up and what is down. So I know that I'll be covering this with paper to help me. I'm going to say this is down. <laughs> this is up and this is where it is attached. Can you see that? So up, down and attached. Because when the page goes in, it's going to go in like this. So it's a lot easier for me to really understand my positioning. I will tell you I don't always do this. And inevitably, when I don't do this, I make a mistake. I just do. You know, it's just so easy because it really just, you know looks the same. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do a quick little arrow. Um, attached. Just so I remember. Once I start putting my pieces on, it'll be easy enough. Okay, so this one, again, I'm looking at it, and I know that that part's down, and that is up. I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing up. And then let me find this one. See, it would just be so easy to, to put this as down and just forget that this is the way it's supposed to be. So, and I am thinking that this pencil is hard for you to see unless I do that. Then it just kind of pops, doesn't it? Um, but I can see it really well. So those are my pages. I'm actually gonna do it, I'm going to attach some of my um, elemental pieces, I guess you can put it that way, um, to these. But first, I'm going to cut them out, and and we're gonna we're gonna start the the process. And honestly, to be fair, I haven't really decided what's gonna be what, um, or or where these are gonna go in the album itself. But I do have an idea of what I want to do. Does that make sense? I am just not terribly sure it's making sense. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to try. Um, okay. So, um, I, to start with, I know that I want a waterfall and I'm going to do this, uh, this technique that I've seen. And honestly, I'm going to try to find the video of where I learned to do this. Um, the woman called it a fold over waterfall and, um, and it turns out it, it sure as heck has made the waterfall much easier, at least for me. So, um, I actually made one already to show you. So this is my waterfall and, um, it actually, it is probably the smoothest, um, that I can do. It's fairly even. Um, but what you can see is I'm actually using just one one sheet for each section. You just have to measure them correctly. And that's, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm going to need two sheets of paper and I'm going to start by measuring them five and a half inches because, do, do, do. Um, I, I'm only going to go four down. So I'll have five and a half by four. And that should be okay 
for pictures or journaling. Um, so I'm doing it this way so that I can really cover my page. Um, I'm, I'm using my new cut, my new paper cutter. Uh, love this paper cutter. Um, again, this was, this was pretty inexpensive. I think it was maybe $35, $40. Um, but what's, what's really important here is, is this guard because I'm, I really want to hold my guard down. It's what keeps my paper when I put the, when I slice it, if I don't hold it like this and keep and you know, the guard keeps my fingers from getting cut. Um, but if I don't hold it like this, then, then the cutter grabs the paper and pulls it. So it, it is pretty important that you have something like this that will hold on to your paper. Um, so this one's a little bit bigger than my last one. I know that I trimmed this one a little bit. That is another, I will say that's another really nice aspect of doing this particular style is that I can trim it so that it's perfect. And uh, it's, it's actually really hard to get the waterfalls perfect, I think, I think. Um, to me, it is. That's just that's just my thing. Um, again, see how nice and easy that was. I don't have to remeasure anything. This is going to hold my paper right in place. I love it. The the one drawback about this one, this paper cutter, is it really only goes to nine and a half. So, um, and this isn't going to go long enough. So this comes off. See, easy peasy. I know that I want this to be nine and a half. I don't think, let me measure something for a minute here, guys. I think this is just short of nine and a half. It is just short of nine and a half. So I'm going to have to do just a wee bit of eyeballing. So what I'm going to do, because I want these to be the same, I want them to be even. See how it comes up. Um, I know that I want this to be a smudge. A smidgy smudge. That should be about right. Um, past that. So that that's that's just a wee bit over. What I will say is that that's okay, because there's always a little bit. It's easier to take something off than you can't put it back. So I would much rather. You know, have this be just a touch too long than a touch too short. But both of them are, you know, honestly, if it's a touch too short, there are plenty of ways to fix that. I look at this. If you see this one, if you can see, it's hard to see with the black on black. But these are all perfect. This one is a, just a touch too short. But that's okay because I'm actually going to do a little paper extension onto this one as I put it down. So that one's not going to matter quite as much. All right. Now I get up my wonderful scoreboard. We're getting back to that one. That's the thing about doing these in real time. <laughs> Ish. Real time-ish. Um, is that... Um, I just remember something else I did wrong. Is that you get to see my mistakes. I mean, when I do these and I don't stop, I don't do a whole lot of editing and I, I don't take out my mistakes and I do make mistakes. <laughs> I, I do. You all know I do. Okay, so on this one, I want to score at four inches. Now, I'm going to go and score at four inches on both sides. I mean, I'm going to, you, how to put that, you saw that I moved my paper, right? So I, I turned it around and all that means is that I know that I'm getting the exact same amount on both sides. It's a scoreboard. It's not per board. It's not perfect. So if I do it that way, then I should get the same amount on both sides. What I will, uh, what I'm also doing, which you can see, I'm just doing a little bit here. Maybe I'll just go ahead and down. Um, I don't want to score that too much because I actually don't want that to score much on this. I don't really want to score it. What I'm doing with it is I'm kind of marking my spot. Um, because I'm going to do a half inch on the next one. So 
the one, so the thing that I did wrong here was I should have paid attention to my information. <clears throat> On this one, I need to take an inch off. So this has to be eight and a half inches, not nine and a half inches. Yeah, eight and a half. Yeah. I'm taking an inch off and that's going to, that's going to make that slight change that I need. I got to keep looking at, um, I have my, this is my cheat sheet. This is my cheat sheet right here. So my next one should be eight and a half. That one I know I have. Does it go to eight and a half? Nope. Gonna have to do it this way. It's okay. It's quite all right. Okay, so I'm lining it up at my eight and a half. I'm not getting rid of any scraps at the moment because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need them. That's no, oh my goodness. Okay, my my bone folder came off. Now I've got to resituate. Okay, there we go. Um, so with this one, by the way, I'm doing the same thing I did with the last one. Going at four. And I'm going at four. Oops, didn't want to do that. Okay. Make sure that's in. And I'm going to grab a different bone folder. And again, whenever possible, I want to score into the, I want to score into the mountain, not the valley. So even with this, with, I mean, we've been so cautious, you know, really line your paper up <laughs> when you're doing this. You just want to make sure that once you start scoring, your paper. Look at that. It's just so funny. Okay. Once you start folding it, you want your paper to be even. Okay. So there's my inner. And then with this one, go a little bit faster with this one. All right, you can see with this one, you're like, Sharon, that looks a little bit off. I mean, why is it so big? Here's why. I've got my tiny little section there. It's because I'm going to be gluing, attaching this to this. And then when it all folds down, you can see now there's a method to my madness. Okay. I have, I don't know if you can see those well, but I have created on this side, those wee lines coming through. So my first step here, I'm really trying to be very careful here. And I'm gonna go straight down where my marks were. So I've got my half inch. That looks pretty good to me. Looks a little bit off to me actually, but you know, it's, <laughs> this stuff is actually not that easy to work with. I'll tell you that, but it'll be fine. It will be absolutely fine. Let me find my little tool here. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be attaching this on here like so and try to get it I'm going to try to get it exactly right and that should be exactly right 
Okay. So I'm going to do this next. And then on the back of this one, because y'all know how I like to, you know, glue. You know how I trust my glue. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here just to be sure. Now, I'm going to line it up right there and there. Um, and as I, I think I've said it before, but the glue just gives me like an instant, a second to move it around just a little bit. The tape gives you nothing. <sighs> if all you've got is tape, you are not going to be moving anything around. That tape is secure, which is, you know, and ultimately what you want, but, um, you know. Okay, so let's check it. Oh, look at that. It's a thing of beauty. So here are my pages. Lovely. And there, we have a waterfall. That is maybe the easiest waterfall I've ever done. Um, the only thing that you, ha you just have to keep in mind, your spacing. Um, and then, let's see. My waterfall is approximately, so because of the way I cut it, it's approximately the same size as this, which is fine because my intention is to put this waterfall on the inside of my book, like so. So this one, I so I haven't decided I might actually put another paper behind it. And then I'm gonna have this lovely big waterfall on this side. And I'm going to use the other waterfall I think on this side, I might do this. I kind of like the idea of it opening like a book on this side. If I did that, hmm. Okay, yep, I think I'm gonna do it like that on that side. And then on this side, I'm gonna use this one, which is slightly smaller. I cut this one to a different size. Um, cut this one to five inches because I kind of wanted to center one. Can you see, I hope you can see this. I hope it's not too dark. Uh, anyway, so if I, so with this one, it'll be more centered on the back and then I'll have this cute little additional waterfall. All right, so we've got the two waterfalls. We've got our front and back ones and they're going to be doing different things. Okay, so the next one, so my first page, I'm gonna start with, um, I don't know what you call it. It's gonna fold up and out. I was looking at some different designs and I think this is gonna be the best one for this side. So we're gonna go five and a half by 11. This is already 11. And I would cut them all at one time, but honestly, I would just get confused. I would just forget what I had, where I had it, what my plan was. I would just get confused. <laughs> so I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to score at five and a quarter. And notice again, I'm actually holding my paper down. I mean, if you're familiar with this, you're already there. But if this is the first time you've done that, I'm holding my paper down because, again, paper likes to shift. I don't want it to shift. <laughs> I would be an unhappy camper if it shifted. So I'm scoring it, scoring, scoring at uh, five and um, five and a quarter, and I'm going to score again at ten and a half. And then we're going to fold. I don't usually like to fold on my... That's why I keep putting this away. I really don't like to fold on my bone folder. I've got to remember how the orientation of this works. So in this one, um, I've got to fold this one with the valley. That's right. Honestly, when you're, start, when you're making this many folds and you're moving around with this stuff, it can get a little confusing. 
you've just got to keep, um, you've got to keep thinking. You got to stay on your toes and just keep thinking, okay, now which direction do I want this to go in? How do I want this to work? So this is either going to, for me, this one's going to, I can attach it to the top. So here's one of my pages. So we know the orientation of it. So I can attach this to the top and it'll open like that. Or I can attach it to the bottom and I can pull it down if I want to. Um, I'm going to attach it to the top. And at this point, I'm just going to use glue. Um, my, my tape and glue combo is for when I really think I'm going to have some weight and some possible issues. So I'm just trying to align this properly. Please tell me I've got it on right. It's a pain. Okay, come on. They're not down yet. Because you're do it this way. I'm kind of doing it upside down. So I want it to go that looks better. Yep. Okay. So first one. And I, you know, you go to the very top, a little bit of your paper is going to stick out here. That's okay because I'm going to have decorative paper there. So, okay, that's, so this at the moment, this is my page from, I always consider it my page two. I think of the inside cover as being page one. So page one is going to have, Where'd I, where'd I put it? So page one will have this side waterfall and this, right? Not everybody thinks that that is page one. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it. This is gonna be my page two. And I think I'm doing fold outs on these. What did I do? <laughs> so much for having like great instructions for myself. I have instructions. All right. Oh, I know what I'm doing with that one. Okay. So what am I doing with this one? So this one, um, this one's going to be a pocket right here. And for this pocket, I'm trying to think of what size I was thinking about for this one. I didn't actually pre-plan this one. I'm looking at my plans and I realized I didn't like what I was going to have there. Um, so I'm rethinking, which I think is what we all kind of do. Like that, like that. Um, when we're doing these. Constantly thinking on our feet. All right, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to look at this. So I could do a pocket like that. I kind of like it. But if I go, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be more like that because it's going to come down. Okay, so re remember that this is five and a half by five and a half. Okay, so because this is five and a half by five and a half, I'm going to do this one, which is about three inches at the moment. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. So I do want to make sure it's a perfect three inches all the way up and down. It is not. <laughs> it's a wee bit off. That's okay. We can fix that. All right. I'm going to grab my small cutter this time. I don't need my big one yet. Um, 
So this needs to be um, six and a half inches. I do know a big one because this only goes to six inches. Oh, bother. I sound like Winnie the Pooh. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go to six and a half inches. Let me find my six and a half inches. Okay. Got that one. You can see I'm already reusing some of this. I do want to make sure this is exactly three. Let me move this. Let me do that so I don't cut my fingers. I'm going to move this guy over to, that should be right on three inches. I'm just going to make sure that it is completely even. Make sure I know which side. There you go. See how I had like the smidge? But I tell you what, that stuff, you know, if you're, if you're being too much of a perfectionist, like, <laughs> all right, out comes this guy again. And I'm just going to score half an inch here. Half an inch there. And you guessed it, half an inch here. Okay. And now, put that back. get back on there. Now, 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 I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to try to make sure you can see this. And I am just going to miter this. Did you notice I didn't actually go, I got close, but I didn't actually go all the way there. Get pieces out of the way. Because if I cut into that corner, then it's not going to work as well. All right. So, um, I used to think that it was, you know, I could put this on these on top it didn't that it didn't matter what direction i did this in and then someone and this was years ago mentioned that if you have this piece underneath then when you're putting things in your pocket it gets caught so this piece for me now always goes this long bottom always goes on the bottom the long bottom goes on the bottom i'm gonna fix that a little bit okay so, this is just checking my orientation. And then this guy is going to line up pretty much right there. That's where every time I pull this off. Now... Kind of doing that now could I just cut a piece of paper and glue the sides I could but it wouldn't give you as much space oh I've got space in there. Okay. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> I just keep looking at it. All right. So when it's on, 
And then you turn and you've got this cute little this cute little pocket back here. I do like that little pocket. Now, there are other things you could do. You could add something to the top. I'm just going to leave a pocket. I like the idea of having a nice little pocket to stick things into. And I like the simplicity of it. So page one and two and three are done. Move that one out of the way. I'm just going to leave it there for a moment. Put this guy on. And we're going to start uh, the next section. That took a ridiculous amount of time for me to figure that out. Good thing you weren't sitting there waiting for me. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're going to start because I was rethinking my page. So we're going to do this at five and a half. And then I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut this one at five and a half. So right now, I really have two matching pages, but I'm gonna cut this one down to four and a half. Seriously, it should not matter which side I do, but I'm gonna double tap, huh? pretty perfect. Okay, so then I'm gonna cut this one down to four and a half. Aha. Now I am going to grab, oh, there it is. I'm going to do my normal thing. This seems pretty normal now, right? So we're going to do a half inch here. And I'm going to do a half inch here. This is so this time I am scoring along my four and a half inch side. So basically I'm gonna bring this down to four inches. And that's important because it's so easy to like accidentally move it this way and go, is that? So, mm. so you want, you're bringing it down to four inches. Okay. Tuck that guy in, cause I do not wanna crawl around on the floor looking for him. Okay. Bring this over, and I have not found what whatever I've got leaning over here. I haven't figured it out yet. All I know is that every time I move, I'm squeaking it. Okay, so we have this kind of cool, I mean, it's really like another waterfall to go on to, make sure I know which page is which. Okay, that page is like that. That one goes like that. Yep. So I just re I simply rethought what I was doing. And I decided I like this idea. So I'm going to lift it. Instead of it coming out from this side, which to me was just not working, um, I'm going to do it this way. And I think this is going to be perfect. And I, I like, I feel like it mirrors. I don't know how I, I just do. Right, Y'all tell me. You guys are the best, seriously. I do mean it. <laughs> I really do. All right. This is the part that gets me every time. Okay. So I'm going to do this. Come on. How did I get that crooked? Right. It's actually going to be fine. <laughs> it's all going to be okay, Sheard, because I can do this. I'm going to use my bone folder. There we go. It's so funny. I know and all paper crafters do stuff like this, but golly, it makes me crazy. 
But again, I think it's super important not to hide my mistakes from you guys. I'm human. There we go. That just took a little extra folding. All right. I I think that working. I, I guess I don't know why why it is, but when I work with the with the um, black papers, I just have a much harder time with them. It's like my eyes don't see them well, so I have a harder time with my alignment sometimes, which can be a real pain. <laughs> Let me let me cap this guy because if I leave it uncapped for too long. Alright. I wonder if this would help. Oh, and that actually really does. <laughs> that really, really helped. That was great. I've been having such a hard time with the um with the black on black. Uh, what I need is natural sunlight for me. I mean, I'd be so much better if the if, if it was a sunny day and I had the windows open. Okay, so you can see what I've got going here. I've got this cute little, this is, you know, on this page we've got the pocket. On this page we've got this nice little um, flip up going. So now, this is our last page, or last couple pages. <laughs> so we did one, two, right? This was gonna be one, and this pulled up is two, and then you've got three, and then that one's four. So now we're working on five, six. And this one uh, is going to be, we're going to do it pretty similarly to what we did before. This one's going to be the fold out one. So that I'm going to have this cool, you know, both sides fold out. So you have like a bigger layout. I very much like those. I do like to include them. Um, so it's not, it's pretty much similar to what we did before. Um, so we're going to do two sheets that are five and a half by 11. No, wrong, wrong one. <laughs> it's wrong one. No, they should be six. Okay. So in order for them to really cover the page, I need to do them at six. I don't know why I have five and a half down. I do know why I have five and a half down, but I'm going to do them at six. Not the first one. Oh my word, I'm just not thinking. I swear, guys, it actually does have to be. Five and a half is, is this orientation. All right, so I'm gonna do it at five and a half. So each one of these is going to be five and a half. By 11. to score at because there's no choices. I'm going to score this at five and a quarter. And ten and a half. And again, five and a quarter. Five. Ten and a half. So 
Okay, this time I'm going to go this way first. I tell you, when you're a paper crafter, you're always looking for the paper to crack. Because if the paper cracks, that is a real problem. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to go backwards with this guy. And I'm going to go backwards with this guy. So I do that. There we go. So when I put it on the two sides, this one will go and then this one will go. Now I've got to get the right pages back again. Oh my gracious. Yes. <laughs> Orientation matters. I was about to do it. I was thinking about it. Okay, that's that's that. That's this one. <laughs> okay, top bottom. Top bottom for that one goes that way. Yeah, okay. Holy cow. Okay. Yep. Top bottom. Got it. <laughs> Those arrows are coming in so handy. Okay. So this is just, this is as simple as it gets. I'm going to attach this one and I'm going to attach that one. And then I'll just have my final page to work on. So on goes my glue. Let's see, let's see it. And making sure I got this in the right place because that was very effective for me last time I'm going to do it again this time oh, Lord. I I don't know why guys I'm having so many problems today I've made a million of these these and I'm just struggling so much with this one today Probably because I'm on camera. For whatever reason, I don't know, those, those of you who are also YouTubers, do you find that sometimes? Like everything goes so smoothly and then you're on camera and it's like, why can't I do this? Okay, there was, making sure, orientation's right. Okay, page one, and then this one, page two. Okay. Just the way of it, I guess. So now that I've watched as much of the Penelope version of the Bridgertons that I can, because they did it in two, two sections, which drives me nuts. I wanted to binge the whole thing. So, so good. I know some some of you have said yes. You are also Bridgerton aficionados. Okay. So, oh my goodness. All right. There we go. Do you like the little sounds I'm making? <laughs> I make sounds effect. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cracking myself up is what I'm doing. Okay. So for our final page, um, we just have to decide what it is we want to do on the final page. I know there's going to be a waterfall at the very end. And I think what I'm going to do, see, I had a plan here. So I'm thinking uh, that what I was going to do was something kind of fancy. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that this time. See how things just change? I think for, for this page, which is going to be opposite a waterfall, I'm going to do something just really super simple. Um, so let me grab, you go through so much. This is what I mean. I mean, can y'all see the amount of paper that we've gone through? 
these are just my off, all of my off cuts and these are all individual sheets of paper. So you end up with a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Luckily it's one of those normal colors. Okay, so last, but certainly not least, we're gonna do this one. And it's gonna be super easy. I've already got it set at five and a half. And five and a half, because the paper is 11 inches, when I do five and a half, I get two perfect sheets. Then I am going to score them both at, if I can get this thing up, a half inch. That's one, and a half inch. Ooh, don't do that, don't do that. Why would it do that, half inch number two? And we're just like so. Can you hear the horde of elephants? That is actually just my 13 year old. Okay, so in this one, I'm just going to do simple. It's just, su oh, let me do it like this. It's gonna be super simple. And my orientation is going to be this way. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one down first. Just cause. Just cause. All right. I'm trying to make sure I don't... Oh, my goodness. I'm going all over the place with this glue. That's not good. Gracious. We don't want to glue that side down. Okay. Actually. Actually, that might help right there. See how well we did this time. P pretty good. That one's pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna do this side. I'm gonna try not to, my glue is coming out faster than I'm used to. I don't know why really. suppose it might be me I don't know <laughs> I might be doing something wrong <laughs> no never okay this little square thing is coming in super handy all right oh. So this is, let's see, where's the inside? Let's have to find. No, it's this way. <laughs> Woo! Okay, there's that. And then this one opens like that. And now I'm gonna put some of this together. I'm not gonna put my waterfalls on yet because I think I'm gonna put some decorative paper behind them. But I am ready to put my pages on as long as I put them on correctly in the right places. So, yep. So, let's see if we can get that done. Let me move that one out of the way. I, hit, I don't just have one cheat sheet. I have tons. Okay. So this one goes up. And it's going to go on here. Like this. Yep. All right, that one's going to go on like that. 
so I've already done all of my scoring, all of my stuff. This is just ready. This is nice because it's ready for me to pull off. So I am just going to go like this. I actually do it on both sides because I find it just way too hard to get it started if I don't do it like that. Okay. Check a third, fourth, fifth time. Do what you need to ensure that you get it on. So the right, the way you want it on. I'm not sure that I'm going to be showing this tremendously well. Um, only because in order for me to see it, I've got to orient. There we go. guys it's slightly crooked which is going to drive me crazy but it is what it is so i was trying to be super careful on that one on this one i am still going to try to be super careful but i'm going to be reckless a little bit reckless oh my word okay so now again i'm trying to remember directionality this goes, this goes like this. Yes. This is not, I sure got it in right. Now I'm kind of fighting with it. I'm gonna go all the way on and don't you dare catch until I tell you you can. All right. All right, not too bad. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's actually lining up really well. Who knew? All right. Let's see this last one. There are lots of ways to do your um your hinges here. This is just the one I like. I learned it from Rosa Kelly. Let's see. Yep. That one comes out like that. So this one, that's not right. Is that right? <laughs> it wouldn't have been. It's because I like that. Yes. Okay. Again. I got it kind of in. What I'm doing is I'm kind of bringing it in. Huh. That's hilarious. And now I'm just going to go little by little, and I just really want to make sure everything is connected. There we go. Okay, so hope you can see it. So we've got this. So we're gonna have which one's which one's the right one? This one. So we're gonna have this piece coming like this. You've got this cute little waterfall going on here, and then you open this, and then you'll turn the page, and you've got a pocket, and you've got these little sort of flip ups here and it kind of mimics the waterfall on that side. And then when you turn this page, you do that, cute. And you turn this page and you do that and you have a final waterfall here. And you've just, it's, it's tons of pockets and things. So, oh, that's, <laughs> I was going, what's, oh, what's going wrong here? So those two I think are gonna go in 
in a little while. The book is now together. So we now have, we now have just the basis of what we're doing. Now it's going to be time to start decorating it. Um, before I go too far with my decorations, I'm going to decide ahead of time where, if I want magnets, and if I do, where I want to put them. If I wanted a ribbon, oh, I don't want that to happen. That's not good. Okay, if I want a ribbon somewhere, um, if I want some kind of a closure anywhere, this is going to be the time to decide before I bring it in and put in, um, put the papers in because the papers are gonna go on top of any of those things. And for this particular book, maybe I want, I might want a magnet here to hold these pages together. Um, I don't think I'm gonna want a magnet anywhere here. I can't see any reason to put one there. Um, honestly, I just don't, I don't think I want one there either. So I may not be putting any magnets in this book. Even though I'm looking through it going, well, I could do this, but I don't really have to for this one. So I'm not really seeing a, an absolute need for it, but we're starting to get there. So I hope you enjoyed that. It was a very long video, but it's worth it because we are finally ready to start decorating. I'm going to be pulling out my bee paper and we are going to be going to town on this guy. So that's going to be our last bash. And then I will do a full walkthrough at the end. I will see you guys later. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you make one. If you make one, please, please, please add a picture to my Facebook page or my Instagram. I would love to see them. I'll see y'all next time. Cheers.